Hi, my name is Samantha Reed and I'm 11 years old. I'm doing my project on decomposers for Miss Rhodes Science Fair Team Purple. Go Team Purple! I got the idea for my project when I was taking out our compost. I had the idea. If what would make this compost decompose faster? And that is how I began my project. This is my backboard on decomposers. I hope you like it. First, I started with a question. Which decomposer has the most complete breakdown of banana slices? Now, you're probably wondering, what are decomposers anyway? Bacteria, fungi, and animals are three of the main types of decomposers in the environment. They break down dead organisms into nutrients. We call this process rotting. And these nutrients are then returned to soil. If it weren't for decomposers, we'd be up to our armpits in dead things. The three different types of decomposers that I chose from are these. Bacteria are the smallest living organisms and the most numerous of decomposers. I chose a, I chose a bacteria called Acidophilius. It came in a capsule. Then there's fungi. It is named, it is the name for the simple organisms including molds and yeasts. Next to bacteria, fungi are the most efficient decomposing organisms. Molds are also common decomposers and are responsible for much of the rotting which takes place in food. In this process, I chose yeast, but eventually mold grew. And then animals. There are many animals that act as decomposers, including crabs, worms, vultures, and slugs. I have three hypotheses. Hypothesis one. I believe that the worms would have the most complete breakdown of the banana slices. H2, I believe that the yeast would have the most complete breakdown of the banana slices. My null hypothesis, or HO, I believe that nothing would happen to the bananas. For this experiment, there were four bowls labeled. An egg slicer was used to cut the bananas. Group A was the control group. Group B contained the bananas and the bacteria. Group C contained the bananas, yeast, and hot water. Group D contained the bananas, the peat moss, and the worms. Each day, I recorded my observations of the decomposition. The first two days, there was not much change, but on day five, there was enormous changes in all groups. I also took pictures of my observations. This chart shows the changes in each group each day. My conclusion was that none of my hypotheses were correct because mold grew in the winning group. In my research, I found that mold was a fun guy and was responsible for the rotting in food. I created four future studies which included changing the object of decomposing, mixing the decomposers, adding water, and changing the climates. As you can see, composting makes great nutrient-rich soil for your plants to grow in. The better the soil, the better the plants grow. That's why finding the best decomposer is good because it makes more soil for your plants to grow in. Thanks for watching my project on decomposers. Go Team Purple!